Hey guys, it's Craig with By the Bootstraps, btbootstraps.com. Check out the videos, check out the store, like and subscribe below. Um, got some notes today because I want to talk about Nathan Phillips, the guy that's been on the news recently. He's been on pretty much every news outlet ever since last Saturday. Okay? Um, guy claims he was a Vietnam veteran, that he was a recon ranger that you know and he's been very outspoken as being an activist or he, he is a political activist which that's cool there's nothing wrong with that however some interesting facts you know he's been in the news because of a previous video that I did you guys can check it out if you want to but that Covington you know Catholic school diocese the kids from Kentucky the whole you know attacks that were done on the kids it all kind of stems from this from this Nathan Phillips you know claiming that he was surrounded by these boys and was threatened and he was trying to de-escalate the situation. You know, as I said in my previous video, it doesn't look like that at all, all right? But some interesting facts came out about Mr. Phillips here. Uh, and this was provided by Don Shipley. He's the Navy SEAL who goes in um, and he reports on stolen valor and things of that nature. So the guy's pretty good on his research. So I'm, I'm just kind of reading from what he's already done. You know, I'll try and see if I can find this video that he did about this and link it to, to this one, uh, just so if you want to see what he had to say. Um, but anyway, so this Nathan Phillips guy, you know, he joined the, the Marine Corps from 1972 to 1976, right? He was listed as a non-combat. -com, uh, uh, he was a refrigerator mechanic, all right? Which I don't begrudge anyone for joining the service for whatever reason and what they did. I mean, every job is, is needed doesn't matter how small it is or how large it is every job is needed and every job is important so I give the man kudos for that you know that's cool for him however on his DD-214 you know he claims well, well I'm gonna read a quote directly from you uh, from Nathan Phillips and now this is from a Facebook live video in 2018 right because he's been saying on CNN and the news outlet media like MSNBC and the Washington Post that you know he was a Vietnam veteran but he served in the Vietnam time which I, I, I could accept that. That's cool. <laughs> you know, and that's, that's actually pretty honest too, you know. But in a 2018 Facebook Live feed, he says, I'm a Vietnam vet, you know. I served in the Marine Corps from 72 to 76. I got discharged May 5th, 1976. I got an honorable discharge and one of my boxes shows peacetime or one of my boxes says I was in theater. I don't talk about my Vietnam times. End of quote. Well, that's pretty interesting because on your DD-214 it shows that you were in non-combat, that you were stationed in Nebraska and California, all right? So in the time that you were stationed in the Marine Corps, you were stateside the entire time. You never went over to Vietnam. You never served in Vietnam, all right? The reason why you don't talk about your Vietnam experience is because you don't have any Vietnam experience, okay? Which I'm not here to preach to anyone about what happened in Vietnam. I obviously wasn't there, all right? But him claiming to be in, you know, in Vietnam and being a Vietnam recon ranger, which, what the hell is that? I've never even heard of that. I mean, the guy was a refrigerator mechanic, which again, great, we need, you know, we need those people. You know, that's important. But what is a recon ranger? You know, that's like me saying, because I worked on aircraft in the Air Force, that I was a pilot. You know, as though somehow I, I know what I'm talking about when it comes to flying an aircraft because I still happen to work on the hydraulic systems. Not even close, or that I'm special forces. <laughs> no, not even close, right? This guy was AWOL three times. In the four years that he was in the service, he was actually AWOL three times, all right? Doesn't say anything about what his status of discharge just says he was discharged. Doesn't say anything about honorable, doesn't say anything about dishonorable, just says he was discharged, right? The guy went in as a private, and he retired as a private, all right, in four years. My point being is that he's using this newfound celebrityism uh, from his political activists to push an agenda, which I guess that's cool, that's fine, it's America, you can do what you want, you know, but to be running around and saying that you yourself is a Vietnam veteran, it's very disgraceful and very insulting to all the veterans who actually had to go over there. You know, there's a lot of men who were drafted to go over there and they served their time and they did their duties and I can only imagine the kind of hell that those guys had to go through all right, especially the ones who were in you know combat areas 
I know there was a lot of support over there as well. I mean, in any theater, there's going to be support uh, necessary. You know, so even if he had gone over there to be a refrigerator mechanic, you know, for support reasons, that makes total sense. You know, he could actually claim at that point that, hey, I'm a Vietnam veteran. I would totally give him that, you know. But to sit there and claim that he was over there and he was performing duties and actions when in reality he wasn't doing anything. You know, I would call this stolen valor because he's using this, this claim to go around to push an agenda. And I have to believe that with all the coverage that he's been receiving, he's getting paid monetarily in some way, shape, or form. You know, that's stolen valor to me. Anyway, guys, comment below and let me know what you guys think. All right, I mean, this is a, t a very sensitive topic to a lot of people. You know, a lot of people claim that they're one thing and they're not. A lot of veterans who might have served in the military claim that they were, you know, an elite sniper or an elite uh, EOD or something of that nature, and it turns out they weren't. You know, this guy, in my mind, although I salute his service, to be saying that he's doing things that he didn't do and he knows he's saying it, I find that repulsive. Anyway, comment below, let me know what you guys think. I'll talk to you later.